So we're going to be talking about uh, midpoints. The midpoint of a segment is the point that divides the line segment into two congruent segments. So you'll notice if I move the endpoints of this segment, no matter what I do, the midpoint's going to stay right in the center. If you're looking at a diagram and you want to determine if a, if a point is in fact a midpoint, uh, you can't really tell just by looking at it. So you either have to be told, um, for example, that this is a midpoint, specifically maybe in the instructions, or you might see tick marks. So if I see a single tick mark and a single tick mark, I'm going to know that that point is in fact right in the middle because these two parts on the outside are congruent to each other. Uh, I've gone ahead and changed the label of the midpoint to M instead of midpoint so we could start to write some statements about the scenario. I'm just going to make up some numbers here that would make sense in this scenario. For example, um, if AM was 3, we would know that uh, MB is also 3 units um, and we would know that the whole thing is 6 units. So I'm going to use that to help us write some statements. So the first statement that we could write, we could actually write if uh, we know that M is the midpoint, then we know that AM, the segment, is congruent to, remember the congruent symbol, is congruent to MB, the segment. There's some other statements we could write though. Notice um, if we double uh, AM, we would have AB. If we double 3, we get 6. So we could write something like 2 times the value, the length of, AM would be equal to the length of the whole thing, and that's going to be true anytime you're in this scenario. Um, you could also double MB. Doubling 3 would get you 6, so you could double MB, and that would also give you AC. If you wanted to, you could take half of AB, that's the whole thing, and that would be equivalent to either one of the sides. So pick a side. That should be equivalent to either AM or MB. So let's just say MB. And one other really important relation, your relationship you're going to have is that if M is the midpoint here, these parts are congruent. We know that. Um, so we're always going to be able to say the length of that left piece, AM in this example, is equal to the length of that uh, right piece, MB. Now, that looks a lot like this congruence statement here, but remember, this is saying that segment AM has the same size and shape as segment MB, and this is saying that the length of segment AM is equivalent to the length of MB. Um, try to hold on to this information because it's going to help us a lot later when we need to make equations based on the information we're given. A couple of other useful information, useful pieces of, pieces of information are that um, every segment uh, has only has one and only one midpoint. You can't find a second or different midpoint for any given segment. Uh, also, if you look down here at this ray and below at this line, you're not going to be able to find the midpoint of either one. There is no center of a line because it goes on forever and a ray goes on forever. So you're not going to be able to find a midpoint of either of those if asked.